This video, we're gonna show you how to stop the double corner concept, which is literally taking over Madden 24. And the best one, in my opinion, is out of Bunch Strong Offset. And it is gonna be the play Corner Strike. This is in the Jets playbook on offense. We actually run the Jets offensive uh, and really run this formation. So I know a lot about how to stop this. So if you wanna get access to my full ebook, on this, it is in the description. Joining the Patreon will get you all of our ebooks as well as our dollar defense. Um, we have over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks. We're going to be dropping some brand new ebooks next week as well. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, it's a great time to sign up. And you could sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below. Now, the coaching adjustments for this defense is we're going to have our auto flip defensive play call off, we're going to have our auto alignment set to base. And then, really important, everything else is going to be on default or balanced including zone coverage. You do not want this on match. If you put this on match, you will run the risk of your outside thirds basically getting bombed over the top for a one-play score, okay? So we're going to be coming out in the play free safety zone blitz, and we are in the multiple defensive playbook. You can also find this in the Chiefs defensive playbook. And basically, here's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to set up the route combo and explain uh, what, what – uh, what this does a really good job of. So the cool part about this route combo is you can block your running back and really the core concept, if you think about it, really one of the best ways that people play Madden this year is this little A-gap blitz. This is pretty much like the best way to play the game, right? So the core of this concept, and I'm just gonna spy my user, spy my user here and try to pick up this blitz the best I can, is we're gonna take advantage of the fact that we have this outside third over here. And as you can see, I can throw this to uh, Deion Sanders over and over and over again, right? Now, the other thing that's really cool about this uh, about this play is, let's say, for example, that you're wanting to maybe run like Durham. You can kind of put that with this play, and it makes it really good. I'll explain why. So Durham really counters this play well, because as you see here, what I might want to do is I might want to shade up and put this guy in a, in a cloud, right? Well, that cloud flat does do a decent job of defending the corner route, but the problem is if we go to Durham, they can just throw this little quick flat to the outside receiver. And you see this is a really, really difficult offense to stop. They also have the threat of the RPO in this formation. This formation literally is just, the I think it's the best standalone formation in the game. But the best way to defend this is actually to uh, press, pinch your defensive line. We're going to back off this corner, though, so we give the same pre-snap look every single time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to shade our coverage underneath we're gonna put the safety on the left side on a middle third, and we're gonna put the safety on the right side on an outside curl flat or a curl flat zone. And then really important, you're gonna shade outside. So the shading outside is gonna help this play significantly better. And just for the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna put my user in a hook curl, and then we will uh, see if this will lock this up. So what you'll see here is now that curl flat zone. You see how, see how he gets really outside really quick? That is the reason why I really like shade outside. So again, the adjustments, you're going to pinch your defensive line. You're going to back off the slot corner. You're going to shade your coverage underneath. Then what you're going to do is you're going to middle third the safety on the left side, curl flat the safety on the right side, and then I like to shade outside, okay? And sh shading outside really makes this significantly more effective. And I think a lot of people just don't do that. And that's why this play gets open. But what you'll see is if I, even if I wait on this, I try to throw it the shade outside, as you can see, it's completely bagged up. Now, the cool part about this is it doesn't just stop the double corner, but we're going to do the same exact adjustments this time. But now what we're going to do is we're going to show this against the play Durham. Now there are openings against the play Durham. I'm not going to say that there, there aren't, but I'm going to talk about how you can kind of user uh, take that away. So first and foremost, as you'll see here, this hard flat will play this wheel every single time. So they can't throw the snap throw wheel to the right side of the screen. Now, what they can do, and this is where, again, this is kind of like a, a little bit of a guessing game, but I wouldn't say it's like, I wouldn't actually say it's like a super big guess because what you can do with your user is you can midpoint the tight end post or the slot post and the running back will. So what you want to do is you want to take away the slot post early, and then you want to snap back to the running back will. As someone who runs this offense, this is a really, really hard read to make consistently because you're in the middle of the field, right? Obviously, you're five out as well, so chances are they're going to get screamed at because you have one of the better blitzes in the game. But essentially what you're going to do, you're going to run right at this guy, go right here, and by that point, as you see, the pressure is going to be bearing down on your opponent. So this is how I like to try to stop this play. Obviously, this is uh, this is one of the best offenses in the game for a reason. Um, it is a really, really good offense. 
But if you can take away double corner, it allows you to do so much more defensively. For example, let's say we wanted to take away Durham. All we got to do is put this uh, linebacker on the left side and a hook curl will crash down. And if they run Durham, now we have a lot more freedom um, just in terms of our user because we don't have to really worry about this tight end early. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the running back and then kind of bait the uh, post, as you can see. So this is really, really good bunch, strong defense, specifically for the double corner route concept, which is the number one passing concept in this game. I hope this video helped you. If it did, consider joining the Patreon. This kind of stuff is what we drop on the Patreon all the time, as well as full eBooks that actually help you get better at the game. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.